We have an update for you tonight in our Facing Danger report, finding real solutions to the deadly wrong way driving up on the Harbor Bridge. Today, TxDOT announced the southbound exits to both Power Street and Padre Streets are closed. If that does sound familiar to you, it is the same thing the governor mentioned more than two weeks ago during the State of the State address here. We covered it and we reported it that night. TxDOT also announced it finished work reopening Padre Street to two lanes, two lanes again. The Upper Broadway exit off the bridge is still closed as well. All of these measures come after our in-depth reporting about the dangers of these exits and how easy it is for people to drive the wrong way on these exits. At the beginning of March, the governor told me that TxDOT's actions were inadequate. Hours after that interview, TxDOT sprung into action. We will, of course, continue to have follow-up facing danger reports in the days to come. Have you ever tried to schedule a doctor's appointment and been told that their next available day is months away? Well, one state lawmaker from El Paso has a solution. Al Althea Castro de la Mata explains. That's right. In most cases, patients go to their doctor's appointment and visit with a nurse practitioner. In turn, that nurse practitioner reports back to this doctor. This can be time consuming for the patient and slow down the nurse practitioner who still needs to see other patients. But State Senator Cesar Blanco has proposed a bill that would allow nurse practitioners to treat patients without having to report to a doctor. In 2019, Maria Bruneda was diagnosed with stage 4 lymphoma. She went into remission the following year. Her battle with cancer, though, led to monthly doctor visits. During those visits, Bruneda was seen by a nurse practitioner. I think he was the one that saved my life. In fact, she recently met her primary doctor for the first time. And he said, um, finally, I met you. You know, and I said, yeah. And I said, well, I'm glad to meet you, you know. And it was the only time I, I saw him and I spoke to him, I talked to him. And, well, he was in my husband. He said, yeah, I know, I know your history. Currently, advanced practice registered nurses, or APRNs, are required to check in monthly with a physician. They also have to wait for a doctor's approval before prescribing new medications or treatments. Waiting for a doctor's approval slows down a nurse practitioner's workflow and limits the number of patients they can see. Senate Bill 1700, the Health Care Expanded and Access Locally for Texans Act, would potentially get rid of this hurdle. Cindy Weston, the president of the Texas Nurse Practitioners Association, says the removal of this requirement would help the medical field. By removing this requirement in Texas, that uh, it would improve primary care access and lower the primary care workforce shortage by a third. Ilania Reyes is a nurse practitioner at QC Clinic and Labs. She says her workdays can be very busy. On average, Reyes can see between 20 to 30 patients a day. If the bill passes, she would be able to help more patients in need. The problem is, is that getting in to see a physician is a long wait time. Nurse practitioners are ready and we're armed to serve our communities and people like me exist even here in Corpus. Senate Bill 1700 was passed by the House, Health and Human Services Committee in early March and it's now being reviewed by the Senate Committee. The end of the legislative session is just five weeks away. We'll let you know when and if the bill is up for votes. Reporting in the studio, Altea Castro de la Mata, Chris 6 News. 26 other states and the VA allowed nurse practitioners to practice to the full extent of their training and licensing. The Texas Nurse Practitioners Group says they hope Texas will do the same.